Angra Corporation is a Pakistani public multinational corporation based in Karachi with subsidiaries involved in the production of fertilizers, foods, chemicals, energy production and the petrochemicals. Its major subsidiaries include the Angro Fertilizers, which is one of the largest fertilizer manufacturer in the world. Angro Foods manufactures, processes and markets the dairy products like frozen desserts and fruit drinks and also the ice cream brand of Omo. Other major subsidiaries are Sin Angro Coal Mining Company, Angro Power Gen Limited and Angro Polymer Chemicals Limited. It was 1957 when the search for oil an ASO joint venture led to the discovery of Mari gas field near Deherki, Pakistan. ASO proposed the establishment of urea plant, which led to the creation of ASO fertilizers in 1964. In 1978, it was renamed Exxon Chemical Limited. But in 1991, it was again renamed as Angro Chemical Pakistan Limited. Angro Company was established in 2003, after which, in 2005, Angro decided to diversify their business by venturing into the food business by establishing Angro Foods Limited. In 2006, Angro also ventured in the power generation business by setting up the Angro Energy Limited, which was later renamed as Angro Power Gen Limited. In 2007, Angro Asahi Polymer divested its share in joint venture with Mitsubishi. In 2010, due to immense diversification of Angro Chemicals Pakistan Limited, it was decided to rename the company as Angro Corporation. In the year of 2011, Angro Corporation had a major global diversification with the acquisition of US-based company Al Safa Halal. This is the new business venture comes under Angro Foods Canada Limited and its subsidiary Angro Foods USA. Al Safa Halal targets the population of 7 million Muslims in North America. On December 20th of 2016, Angro Corporation finally entered into the agreement with a Netherlands-based dairy cooperative company, Royal Friesland Campina, to sell up to 51% shares of its subsidiary Angro Foods at an estimated cost of 448 million US dollars. In your opinion and that of your company, what are business ethics? Yeah, actually in my opinion, ethics is uh, to be truthful and uh, play by the rules of the company all the time and be fair and avoid overcommitment like this. So uh, the second part of your question, uh, it's concerned with the company. Yeah, we do everything. Uh, through uh, proper bidding process, all the, no over commitment with any uh, of our suppliers, mm -hmm. uh, no unfair deals, mm -hmm. and uh, all the things, all activities have been done here through proper channel and as per company policy and procedures. What are your company's value and commitment to the ethical behavior? Sure, we have our company values like ethics and integrity health, safety and environment. It is for both for the employees and for the community as well. Then innovation and risk taking and consumer centric. Do Angro's employees are certified by the corporation's ethics? Yeah, every employee uh, has to read the code of conduct at the time of uh, joining uh, for every new hiring and after reading the whole code of conduct, every employee have to sign a form to certify. Do Angro's hierarchy in extreme cases are forced to do some ethical violations or firmly follow the code of ethics even if it pushes the company in hot waters? No, it is very much clear and uh, clarity from top to bottom that in any case, we have to follow the rules. Does Angro have a written code of ethics or it is just verbally implemented? Yes, we have a very well organized uh, written code of business ethics and it has, uh, it has been communicated at all levels and all sides of the company. Are the company's ethical values strictly implemented or not? Yes, it is very much, very strictly implemented everywhere in, within the company. Who will the company prefer? A brilliant employee with a little respect for ethics 
or an employee who performs averagely but strictly follows the business ethics? No, an average employee but follow the business ethics is very much important for the company. Does Angro entertain the concerns of consumers? If yes, then how? Yes, Angro have a very good forum. Uh, uh, being uh, it is, it has been uh, made in the name of a taluk. It mm. is a reference given in every uh, consumer pack of Angro product to establish a relationship to resolve the concerns of our customers and consumers. Is there any type of discrimination in hiring of employees or it is done purely on merit? Yeah, it is completely uh, basis of merit. There is no other question. Are all employees are satisfied with the health and safety standards set by Angro? Yes, very much because it is for their personal safety as well as the company safety and the food safety and the safety of the community and our environment. So all they are very much happy about it. Angro has done a great deal to help the local communities. Angro Corporation has set up a foundation named Angro Foundation to provide the basic necessities of life to the locality. Established in 2009, Angro Foundation can be called as a social investment of Angro Corporation. Angro Foundation is committed to the growth of sustainable community in which the people have opportunities for development. It receives the support from Germany through multiple German development organizations including German Investment and Development Corporations DEG. GIZ, that is the German Development Agency that provides the services in the field of International Development Corporation. Angro has done the following projects for the sake of development of the local community. Angro Reading Program Angro Foundation is receiving a grant of 22 million rupees from the Small Grants and Ambassadors Fund program of US8. Initiated a reading program in the 13 adopted schools of Padarpur and Deherki. This program will provide the children of more than 1300 primary schools information communication tools to further their reading skills in three languages of Urdu, Sindhi and English. Snake Bite Treatment Clinic Deherki. This clinic was established in 1977 is providing the free first aid to the snake bite victims since then. In 2016, they successfully treated more than 11,000 patients. Anger Foundation is also involved in building paved roads and other infrastructure in several villages or to their manufacturing facilities in Deharki, Sakur and Kadipur. Anger Foundation has collaborated with DEG for skill development and livelihood projects in SIM. The initiatives include the training of female farmers and micro-entrepreneurs in the dairy value chain through SEADSnet project. The project is being implemented in Khairpur district and was helped accelerate 50 women led micro-enterprises through sport. These women entrepreneurs have experienced an income increase of up to 100%. More than 7,000 farmers have also received the training in livestock management practices under the SEADS Net project. Apart from these major projects, Angro is also conducting some small scale community welfare projects. In the end, it could be clearly seen the Angro Corporation is trying its level best to improve the living standards of the surrounding community. To excel. For me, Angro is family. It's a company that stood by me when I needed it too. And I hope that I have stood by the company when they need it. It's a completely merit-driven organization. When the going gets tough, the tough get The reason to rise with the sun. It's not an organization. It's actually a phenomenon. For me, it's either Angro or it's not. Angro is my life.